This time of year, the rotunda of the Mall of America plays host to parents capturing the spirit of Christmas. Belfast 37 or 2 East, right by Orange Julius. And it's normal to see extra police during the holiday season, but this was different. Black Lives Matter! Instead of a picture with a Christmas tree and Santa. Amani and Amana. That mother opted for a photo with her children in front of a sign bearing a strong message. Stop racist killer cops, hashtag Black Lives Matter. I guess we're staging a die-in. That's the voice of Georgetta Wu, a pre-med student who wants to end police brutality. <laughs> we're still making a difference because people have to watch us if they're shopping. I'm not afraid of being arrested. Wu was among the thousands of protesters at the Mall of America. 80 stores closed, but games by James stayed open. Today we kind of have to treat it like a snow day uh, because of the lack of customers. I don't really care what you have to say. Outside, shoppers side. who came to shop First but couldn't. They can peacefully protest without disrupting everybody else's lives. Back inside, <laughs> demonstrators hope their efforts now will bring the gift of equality. Adrian Broadus, Care 11 News. I'll never forget. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. To understand Jenny Moretta's tears, you must take a step back and listen. I'm wearing um, a shirt that says... To the story of her daughter, Mackenzie. Have terror, courage, and be kind. When she was one, the courageous girl had a tumor. On her tailbone, is actually fused to her uh, spine. And her dad, Matt, said that led to his daughter's diagnosis. Soto syndrome. Um, it's a pretty rare genetic disorder. Um, you know, it, it causes uh, giantism uh, where their, their kids grow at a faster pace. Tuesday, Mackenzie turns 10, but 24 hours ago, everyone had rejected an invitation to her birthday party. So her mom posted a message on social media asking friends within her circle to help celebrate. Sad that no one was coming. She hoped for 10. Thanks for having me to your party. But received the unexpected, like Vikings player Charles Johnson. Happy birthday, Mackenzie! Sam's Club and Mr. Pig Stuffed Barbecue donated food and beverages to serve 250. And Elsa left her castle to celebrate the little girl who told this crowd. I making friends in school, but thanks to all of you, my voice was heard. I love you all. Her strangers came bearing presents for Mackenzie, but the girl with the shirt bearing the words courage and kind gave everyone here a gift. Thank you for reminding us how we should treat each other every day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Adrian Broadus, Care 11 News. Okay to use either arm for blood pressure. Throughout life, we all wait for someone or something. Sometimes it's rather quick, sometimes it's uh, not quite so quick. So. Tom Meeks is waiting all right, Pope. for an update on the condition of his new heart. And I'm just excited to feel it beat again. Casey Heisler waits to hear the rhythm of that heart again. It was a Sunday. The phone call came at 4 a.m. Do you have the right guy? Like, are you sure it's Matt? Her brother Matt was a student at the University of North Dakota. In March, a house fire ended his life. Matt was 21. He was very tender from a little boy. He was always just, he had a huge heart. Good to see you. Nice to see you, Doc. How's and Tom, how's it going? he now lives with that I'm same right. heart. You look awesome. You. I'm telling you, I so, feel awesome. When you get your license, you check that box. And you think it's just a small thing? At 16, Matt signed up to be an organ donor. There was no alternative for me except a transplant. Because of Tom's age and other health concerns, five different hospitals refused to consider him for a heart transplant. But the Mayo Clinic gave Tom a lifeline, putting him on a waiting list for a new heart. I am tickled that I'm doing as well as I am. That's Tom. So Two days on. after he received that lifeline, Thanks to Matt. Proud of Matt. Really proud of Matt. The heart that I grew up with and like felt in all of my hugs when I hugged him, that it's still out there somewhere. Today is yeah. finally here. Long awaited, by the way. Long awaited. Pretty excited about this. Obviously, in my case, they're always going to carry a very, very warm spot in my heart. Eight months after Matt died, Matthew's dad, Jared, 
his mom, Cheryl, and younger sister, Casey, embrace the heart they love. Oh, wow. Hi. You must be Casey. <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> the waiting <laughs> is finally over. One more, Jared. Hey, oh, know. man. Oh. I woke up this morning and told... Uh, so nice to meet you. Matt, that <laughs> Mom and Dad's coming today. This is his graduation picture. Both families shared memories. Is this you? And created new ones. Add friend. Because of Matt. Oh, what a good picture. Tom gets more time with his wife, Anne, and their four grandchildren. Would you like to listen to your brother's heart? And the Heislers get to hear from Matt again. A sister who only wanted to feel her brother's heart now gets to hear it. We're all going to listen. <laughs> do I do it this way? Matt didn't just donate his heart. His generosity helped 60 people a 46-year-old woman received one of Matt's kidneys. The other went to a 56-year-old woman. The life of a 61-year-old man was saved by Matt's gift of a liver. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, believe me, it's my pleasure. Last one, Tom. All right. Comfort found in a moment, well worth the wait. It's awesome. <laughs> the gift of life never sounded so sweet. Both families say they'll stay in touch. They're already making plans for their next visit in March. Now that is around the anniversary of Matt's death and it's also Tom's annual checkup. By the way, a heart defect ended the life of the Heisler's firstborn. Alicia was just four. Now they wanted to donate Alicia's organs, but were unable to because she was so sick. But that is not the case for everyone. We have volunteers with Life Source here to answer questions you might have about organ donation. You can also find out how you can register to become an organ donor. The number to call is 888-546-8811. 888-546-8811. Five, four, six, eighty-eight, eleven, And Julie and Randy, I have to tell you, the Heislers only agreed to this story because they wanted to get the message out about organ donation. I'm always amazed when we have these stories. Uh, 